Today on Drawbly, we are looking at the art of Pedro Kruger. Hey, I'm Ben. And I'm Abby. And we are self-taught artists documenting our process of learning to draw, which is of course better with friends. So click that subscribe button if you're new around here. And let's get in and take a look at Pedro Kruger's art. Mm. So I specifically <gasps> chose Pedro here for you, Abby, because I figured that you would like a lot of Pedro's art. I love these and little you, mushroom guys. Exactly, you will see why here very soon. Oh my gosh, is he a concept artist? He is a concept artist, wow. and uh, a lot of them involve mushrooms. Oh, look at these guys, <laughs> I love them. The, the Middle Witch Brothers, the Middle Witch Brothers are, are so incredible. good. Their proboscises are They're just wonderful. The schnoz on that. Sleepy Stanley, and mm. Lily. And, and then just, Lily. <laughs> Lily looks delightful. Yeah, so I thought you would like a lot of Pedro's artwork. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, this is just so beautiful. Look at these landscapes. And look how sketchy this is. Lots of really big brush strokes. Yeah, the that big just read. Get the, yeah, that capture this really well. Yeah, it's, it's just insane. incredible. I, oh. I mean... I would love to take a peek behind Pedro's eyes and see what he sees. That little highlight color with the lantern and... It's that 10% rule or like yeah, that, you yeah, know, yeah, five, ten percent yeah. just a little bit of splash of color, draw in the oh, eye. Amelia is so cute. She's a little <laughs> bird girl. Yeah. And uh, there's going to be a lot of plants as well here for your viewing oh, pleasure. Oh, they're like little vase bugs. They are. Yeah, they're really cool. There's a lot of these. Oh, that's he, so cool. He also does some characters. There's not as many characters as there are like uh, little objects and plants She's and mushrooms. She's translucent. Yeah, it's super cool. Such a pretty sheet of blue. But there are a few characters in here and you get to see more of uh, their style here as we go. Wow. Aw, that's cute. A lot of mushroom and plants. So clearly Pedro enjoys drawing this kind of Aww. stuff. He, I wonder if he knows a lot of people who also like mushrooms or if he just happens to love them himself. I don't know. Look at the little band of mushrooms. I know. I love the one in the uh, the middle with the violin. Yeah. yeah. So I'm noticing two things. Mushrooms, proboscis. Yes. They all have noses. A the, lot of them Look at the noses. maracas. Look at the little maracas guy oh right here. Gosh. He's so cute. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, but he's cool. also like extremely talented at just drawing people. <laughs> I love that this robot is called Mr. Wobbles. Of course. He was once a war machine made by the Sumeran army, but once the war ended on the east, he was left behind as scrap. After a few years of being buried in the sand, an orphan child, Kiki, found him during her travels. Oh, wow. But she took out all his weapons and dangerous devices. He's a peaceful robot capable of harming no one. I mean, he's still kind of big, so... Yeah, he could sit on them. He could do his sit. Yeah. So, concept art stuff here going on. Some beautiful Ooh. different variations of this character. I like all the explanations and story building. Me okay. too. I really like the concept in the bottom left here. I don't know. Just like yeah. a gunslinger putting all these like eyeball things in this gun whatever oh, these are oh yeah that's cool that's really cool i, I really mean like all of these are awesome though right right Ooh, i love their brushwork um it's it's that kind of like haphazard sketchy brushwork that is still very controlled that is reminiscent of can Liu, which was how i was introduced to that particular style mm -hmm. and i always love to see it because i'd like to also be good at it yeah, I feel like the sketch here is doing most of the work, mm -hmm. and then some... And the sketch is really rough, too. I mean, it's a combination, right? But mm -hmm. I feel like the sketch is helping get a lot of this across. It's it's just crazy. Oh, her hair is fascinating. All, all the characters here are so unique, and I feel like there definitely is a through line, like a witchy mushroom plant vibe. Yeah. With you know most of the stuff that he creates, I really like these. Oh. They're super simple, but wow. it shows how skilled they are at creating these kinds of objects. Like those are really good potions. I see a lot of potion illustrations. These are incredible potion illustrations. Mm, yes, of course. This Powerful so potions. Cool. You could not handle these potions, traveler. And then, of course, some sketches of the potions. <laughs> I really like the one with the face on it. Yes. Oh. And this guy. This guy's so cool. Oh, he's I... based off an actual kind of monkey that exists in the real world. <laughs> yeah, for sure. No, with he a, is. With a third eye and a blue... No, the blue is real. The blue is real? I'm what? I'm like 99% sure that there's actual monkeys that look like this. Well, maybe not exactly like this. Not exactly, but they, <laughs> and they don't have a third eye. Hmm. Oh, 
he looks like he's based on um uh well, it's a succulent obviously a succulent and then like an amoeba fish or something it's like a little like dna thing yeah, or not a, a virus a virus it looks yeah, like a virus kind like of a virus definitely some inspiration <gasps> so there. Cute. very insectoid the mandula yeah these are all just gorgeous plants oh my gosh so cool what a brilliant concept and idea that is so unique and creative yeah, I've never seen really anything like it before. Me neither. This guy is going places. Pedro, I think Pedro's already places. I know, he's already places. <laughs> he's like, his uh, bio says, currently employed. It like, does. Yes, very much employed. Ha. <laughs> very employed. The very most employed, employed anybody could be. Are you looking at this art? Of course I'm employed. <laughs> are, are you even looking at this art? <laughs> And if you want to look at even more art, click that like and subscribe button. Because art is better with friends. And this is the part where we say... Goodbye. Goomba. Abby. Ben. Should we just, like, steal Pedro's art style? Uh, I thought you were going to say steal his art. Like, oh, yeah. Put yeah. our like our little signatures on his art. Yeah, <laughs> it's that, like, no, that's we even, should not do that's that. That's an even better idea. <laughs> yes. Yes. But yes, we should absolutely steal his art style. <laughs>